Good. Well, good morning. I'm here and we're looking at some land today. It's about 1.2 million square meters. I'm with Carlos and then we're with the, the guide. And the land is uh, runs basically from the road uh, all the way to the beach. So we're going to do some videos in several parts because we you know, can't access it all the way from this side to the beach because there's a lagoon and there's uh, lots of fallen trees after the, uh, the hurricane. So we're going to have a little explore. I'm going to show you what's going on here. Um, and this is incredible land. Okay, so the land does have about two or 300 meters of road frontage. Um, so the, these houses here, these are squatters. So once the land is sold, they're, they're paid off and they're gone. Um, the fence has only been put here to keep, they've got some horses and stuff here, but the land runs all the way to the road and it's about 200 meters running down that side. So this is the land as well. Okay, so we're just going to see what we can see here. As we already know, we can't get all the way to the beach. Um, but, you know, all these uh, beautiful trees and little hills and everything. So this is a cracking piece of land. If you want to do a development, if you want to do a golf course, hotels, apartments, villas, etc, etc. Okay, so, oh, we found a horse. Carlos is sitting there. Carlos has got his uh, baseball cap on of his team, and his team have just won the, uh, the national championships 4-1 uh, and basically thrashed the other baseball team. Now, I'm English, so I know nothing about baseball, really, um, because, you know, we play cricket in England and we don't play baseball. Well, there are some teams that play baseball, but I have no real understanding of the game. So we've got, you know, a little hill here, nice horse over here. Hello, Mr. Horse. How are you today? Loads of trees, mangoes, coconut trees, royal palms. So we're just going to keep walking, see how far we can go here. It's, it's a long way, it's about two or three kilometers in length. And we've got some more horses over there. Oh no, they're cows. There's a horse. It's, uh, it's lovely. Okay, so we've walked a bit into the property here and we can see there's a property next door with lots of cattle and then it's got these uh, water holes and it's got this lagoon so there's it's great property because it's got uh, natural uh, fed spring water here um, so you know for golf water is essential so this is great and there's waterfowl there as well so you can tell the water's pretty clear and fresh it looks uh, good I'm not going to go too far in because it could be a bit muddy and swampy but that's great and we've got all these naughty crows here making a, a right row you know we can see that the cattle have been all over here so it's a bit, a bit muddy I got my boots on today but most of you who see my videos will normally know that I wander around the mountains and the hills in a pair of flip-flops but today we thought we'd go and put the boots on and uh, be a bit more sensible. So the land here is mainly flat and there are some elevation areas as we get closer to the beach. So I'll just say goodbye for a moment and then we'll resume our little tour later on because I'm sure you just don't want to look at uh, you know piles of grass and things at the moment. No. And we've come to one of the uh, the lagoons, the, the lakes, and there's two lakes like this. And of course, the water here is, uh, is as I say, spring fed. There's, uh, there's fish in it. You can see fish swimming around. You might not be able to see this fish because we're casting a shadow, but there's loads of little fish swimming around here. Look. And there's two lagoons just like this. Makes me want to get my fishing rod and start doing a bit of fishing. And look, there's a, uh, a heron. There's a heron on the tree over there. He's doing his own fishing. He's going to be diving in and catching a fish at the moment. But this is this is perfect. This is for uh, the golf course because you've got all this water for your golf course. You've got water features. You can put canals in here and link them all together. You know, it's really good. And uh, you know, signs that it is good. Good water is, of course, the vegetation that's growing in it. You know, if this water was uh, saline or um, uh, you know, polluted in any way, then these vegetations wouldn't grow. So this is uh, ideal land. 
Well, you can see where the palm trees are. Well, wave past those, that's where the beach is. And of course, we can't get through this. It's, uh, well, we, we could, but we'd get absolutely filthy. So we're going to go the beach way in a bit. Okay. Okay, so this is the second lagoon, which is slightly smaller. But uh, again, with this one, you can see how beautiful this is. It's got lily pads. Ah, oh, the water's crystal clear here. Wow. Just like the other one. And this will have turtles in it somewhere. I'm guaranteeing you that. So this is really, really beautiful. So this is two lagoons, the wetlands, which is excellent. And this one, yeah, I can't see any fish yet, but there's going to be fish in here, I guarantee you. Beautiful.